All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back into another video. Today's video, it is actually about Kasumi once again, but this is not just some regular gameplay. Uh, Kasumi has been nerfed. Now, this is not official, but, I mean, the damage, the, you know, the, num the numbers don't lie. Uh, it hasn't been mentioned by any of the devs, it hasn't been mentioned on the Discord of the UC, nothing. Like, I'm literally in the dark as to why this happened. Also, a little thing, as you see right now, this little thing that she's about to do, Kasumi's right there. Uh, sometimes she'll, she'll do like this jump scare into the screen. Um, I spoke to the person who actually did the animations for Kasumi, and then she made sure that this happens around a 50% chance. So, she might jump scare you. Or not so it's even better because I mean if you're always expecting it then you'll never care about it also since I'm here might as well just show you this new loadout that I'm working with um, one of the things that I saw that was the worst with Kasumi is the blind marks at the initially when everybody's dead and you have nothing so I'm going for surrounded by fear these three cards are just random but basically sustain and some speed after my dash or my movement ability which will work at any time by the way I'm gonna go for kill to heal. It always good for extra sustain. That movement ability still needs to be fixed because it's really. All right, as if you haven't fully noticed the nerfs. Instead of the 250 that she was doing to her main fire, let me see if it's here. It doesn't say the numbers there, but she was supposed to do 350 on the dev build. Then when PDS opened, it was supposed to be 250. That's also what they showed us, and um, that's also what they showed us in the showcase. And then from yesterday to today. It has now been changed to a mere 200. <laughs> Triple kill. Also, her right click is now 450 instead of 500. I'll go into P the shooting range in just a second to show you. Also, apparently she's doing this bug with Vora, Sati, and Makoa. When you shoot Vora, Sati, or Makoa, they're all doing this sound. So in this case, is the coin sound. So it's like a similar thing to everyone. Let's get the ultimate because the ultimate is pretty powerful here. You saw there, it went from one, one stack to three. That's my point of my this um, of this build. I got the speed also to help me out in last case scenario. Even if you were to uh, activate it and then go back, it would still give you the speed as for your um, for your body after the movement ability has been cancelled because it will still means that the ability has ended. You have made it manual to end, but you can still do it manually, yeah. Which is interesting that uh, Sati's over here. She's dead. That extra stack helps us out here. All right, we got that going. So as you see there, should be able to get the kill maybe? The damage should be good enough for that? No. Not enough. Then I'm going with the first talent if you didn't notice that. 
right there so that I can have some see some speed. Right now I'm still trying to figure out loadouts, honestly, but this one so far is the one that I just only tested and I've been enjoying very, very much. Damage that I can output because of this this speed that I can put stacks on people is way better. There we go. Now let's see how much damage and kills I did and then we're gonna to go to shooting range so I can show you what I'm talking about. And... We did 16 kills with 40,000 damage. Uh, but I'm gonna be honest, the uh, matchmaking of this match was pretty weird. They didn't have any support either. And well, there Yagareth was just standing still all the time. So yeah, it was an easy game for definitely for us. So let's go into the shooting range here. I'll have to invite them back again. We will fight. We will die. We will res All right, so let's go back here and show you what exactly they nerfed. So yesterday the damage was supposed to be 250. Now it's 200. You see there are the two stacks because of my loadout. That's the point that I was trying to make. The right click is doing 400 instead of 450. Or was it 500? I think it was 500 as actually yesterday. Yeah, they nerfed 100 on the right click and 50 on the left click. Now I know what you're thinking. Um, you know, she's still auto aim, you definitely can still pull it off, whatever. Yeah, but there's one thing that people are failing to understand. I have been requesting this to the balance team for them to please, for the love of God, give us some sort of a passive that allows us to do more damage to shields and more damage to deployables. Because I'm not gonna lie, 200 damage into a goddamn shield is not gonna do absolutely anything. You cannot put you cannot put any sort of uh, stacks on shields or deployables. So you're always screwed because guess what? You can only do max 200 damage. Even if you were to buy record to the max, 90% makes it a total of 380 damage. 380 damage to a damage to shoot shields. As you can see here. It definitely is not worth it. Not at all. If there's any sort of shields, deployables that might actually block you, if there's a Ying, if there's a IO, if there's a Barrick, if there's a Fernando, any of those, like, please, don't even bother playing Katsumi. So, yes, I am requesting them to them to please, for the love of God, to actually just make it a passive that once she shoots shields and deployables, to do more damage so the Wrecker and Bulldozer can actually do ex extra damage, so, okay? Not make it total broken, just ignore the playables and shields because sometimes you have to shoot them. But to at least allow us to have a better fighting chance against it. And then I also wanted to suggest for them to please, for the love of God, reduce this cone. You see here where I'm aiming at and it's somehow locking into Ying. I believe they should reduce it as max as they can because this should be almost like a hit scan, all right? It's like you're playing Andrew. It should be as precise as your reticle can be. Just make some invisible sort of projectile and keep the same animation, something like that. But this cone has to go. She can do very good damage without that cone, all right? I know that maybe on consoles, oh, but the console players, they have aim assist to compensate. They can definitely handle it, okay? It's gonna be a hit scan for them. This one right now is possibly gonna be one of the strongest champions for console. At least this is what I think, because I mean, it is very forgiving as to your aim. Plus, it increases damage. Plus, you can disarm fear, and you can even get an ultimate out that can hit multiple people at the same time. All right, the only failing thing on her is her movement ability being so bad. Beyond that, I understand why they nerfed her damage, sure, but at least consider maybe reducing the cone first. That is way more important than reducing damage, okay? This is what I think. This is the gameplay that I wanted to show you, even the little loadout. If you didn't see it before, here's what it is. You can try to tweak it around, do yourself some, some changes. In fact, I know some people might actually end up switching this for the one with 250% HP extra. 
so that you can have more survivability. And that's a fun variation too. Yeah, stack it up with Ver Veteran, be stronger. But I just feel like her sustainability is pretty bad. If they were to put a 10% lifesteal on base, I would actually be okay with that. Okay, because, I mean... I don't know. Like, it, her sustain is pretty bad. I don't. Even if they wanted to, I don't know. Depending on how many stacks the enemy has with her right click, it actually gives you life steal uh, of the enemy, like similar to Ceres or something. Depending on the, the stacks, something because she has zero sustainability without cards. It's absolutely disgusting. Her third talent is not actually that great because you're literally think about it. You're literally making your body stand still for longer a sitting duck that uh, it's an movement ability that should never be used in front of enemies okay it's the same thing as imani's body when she's ulting or yagarath when she's standing still standing targets are the easy ones to hit okay so her movement ability is actually pretty bad so yeah and also please for the love of god put something in the second talent that allows us to know that we can Place the traps at long range? Because if you didn't know, you can. It's right there. But it's only with the second talent. Alright, but that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I want to know you guys, your guys' opinions down below in the comments. So please go ahead and share everything you have to share about Kasumi with me. Uh, if you like the nerf or not, if you agree with it or not. If you think that they should reduce the cone of their uh, main fire or not. If you think that she should have the passive for the deployables or not, I'll just be waiting, okay? Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Till then, have a wonderful time.